Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here, and I'm back with, I guess, a rant would be a good term. You know, it's right after Christmas, and I had watched something on the news that made me think about this, and I thought about it a couple times after watching some commercials over the holiday season and um, heading down to friends, family uh, for Christmas, and it kind of made me think of some videos that I watched from a fellow YouTuber. Electra Knight, and if you have not seen any of her stuff, definitely check her out. She's probably one of the nicest people you would ever meet. Uh, she does uh, a lot of geeky stuff, cosplay. She's a sports fitness model. Uh, she's a uh, fitness fanatic, and she uh, does a lot of exercise videos, instructional videos. So check her out, definitely. Um, but she did a couple holiday rants here recently. She did one on Thanksgiving. I think it was about um, her mom wanting to have Thanksgiving dinner like at 11 or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. And then she had another one on her gaming channel where she was playing GoldenEye and talking about um, Toys for Tots and somebody left a Valentine's Day teddy bear and uh, you're supposed to go buy a brand new teddy bear and, and, and donate or a new toy and donate. And her thoughts and opinions on that, so uh, she was kind of ranting on that, and I was kind of thinking, you know, yeah, yeah it, it, there's certain things around this time of year, you're just like, really, what? And what it is, Christmas, you know, I love Christmas, I think it is a great time of year, I think it is a great time to, you know, help out those who need help, I think it is a great time of year to spend time with friends and family, of course it is a very religious time of year. Uh, you know, uh, Jesus is the reason for the season sort of deal and those kind of things. And I, you know, I'm, I'm a big giver. I like to help when I can. I like to, um, you know, give to my family, give to my friends. I like to, uh, you know, pay things forward, that kind of stuff. And it makes you feel good. It does. It really does. And, you know, when I was a kid, you know, I was just like every other kid. We had a Christmas list and did that and the other. And I was very appreciative of the things I had gotten for Christmas. Um, I did not grow up in a rich family at all. Uh, my father was the only one that worked in the family. And I, there was myself, my sister. And um, we never knew we didn't have a lot. And we never went uh, without. We never did. Uh, we never not had food on the table Every Christmas and birthday, we always at least got one or two of the things that we had asked for on a list. You know, uh, you know, I'd ask for Transformers, and, and I never specifically asked for, like, you know, I want an Optimus Prime, I want this, you know. I did, but if I got something else that was a Transformer, I was just as happy, you know, because it was a Transformer. It was awesome, you know, or a He-Man toy or something. And, you know, it, I think... People today have truly lost the meaning of Christmas, have lost the sight of what this season is supposed to be. And the reason I say that is, you know, in the commercials, you know, I'd hear commercials, did you not get what you really wanted? And, you know, you wanted this, and, you know, like, and they show these commercials, they're like, uh, that's not what I wanted, and, you know, this, that, and the other. And it just sickens me. I'm like, really? Are you that unappreciative of something? Uh, you know, and it's just the gift receipts when, you know, I'd go and I went and bought some things for family and friends and like, would you like the gift receipt? And I'm like, no, no, I don't. It's a gift. And to the point where I, where I heard someone and they, they'd given a, a present at one of these holiday functions I'd gone to and it was a sweater or a shirt or something. And she had mentioned, well, the receipts in, in the bag. So, uh, you know, if it doesn't fit or you just don't like it, you can go ahead and, and switch it out, take it back. And, you know, along with the lines of, you know, people returning things to the stores and that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's, you know, it's, I can understand if it didn't fit. Okay, sure, yeah, okay, yeah, it didn't fit. I could take it back and get one in the proper size. But if you don't like it, that, that disturbs me. I don't like that. I think that's disrespectful to the person who gave you the gift. Uh, it, it's something that you wouldn't pick out, you know, it's something that, you know, they had picked out for you. And, 
you know, of course, they got the return lines at the stores and all that kind of jazz. And I was at the store and I saw that they were setting up for the return lines. And they mentioned on the news how we were a day late because here in Indiana we had the blizzard hit the day after Christmas. So today was kind of the first day for returns, holiday returns and that kind of stuff. And it just really nails home how disrespectful, how downward spiral of morality and ethics, I think, our society has spun into, you know, that just, I, I find it disgusting. I really do. And the whole, I want this, I want this, you know, what do you want for Christmas? I want this for Christmas. I want that for Christmas, et cetera, et cetera. I, I don't like that. You know, I'm not one to do that. And I don't know, maybe it's maturity uh, of getting older, but if somebody's going to give me something, I want them to go out and think about it, you know, whether it's a novel, it's a sweater, a pair of slippers, uh, whatever, you know, I'm not going to say, well, I want this for Christmas. I want that. I've never really been that way since I was little. And I think that's because the values and the, the morals that my parents taught me as I grew up, you know, it's the whole, it's better to give than receive deal. And this is the season for giving and for sharing. And, you know, that's dominated my life at, at this time of year. I would rather give you a present and receive nothing. I just want to see the, you know, hopefully the joy on your face when I give you something. And, it, you know, it's a token of appreciation, a token of love, a token of caring, thoughtfulness, uh, you know, respect. And, I think that's just missing so badly in our nation today. And, uh, you know, it's sad. It really is sad. So, you know, when I hear those things, it just, it just made me think how people really need to change their paradigm in life, man. Uh, because I think if you did that, you'd probably be a lot happier. If you're somebody that is more interested in, I want this, I want this, I want this, rather than, ooh, I can, you know, this would be nice to give to this individual, this would be nice to give to this individual, or, you know what, one year, uh, go out, buy a bunch of toys, take a picture of the toy with uh, your cell phone, and donate it for Toys for Tots, okay, and put it in a Christmas card, and mail it to that loved one, say, hey, Merry Christmas, I hope you had a great time of year. I donated this, you know, and, and put a note on there, you know, from, you know, in honor of, et cetera. I donated something in your name. You know, I think that would be something nice to do. Uh, you know, I like to go out and, you know, spend two to five hundred dollars or so on Toys for Tots and go out and get some nice things and and, and pass them out to people who, who need them, you know. It, times are rough, and I think if more people adopted the pay it forward mentality that a it would be a much better place that we live in i think it would help tremendously our society and b it would help a lot of us uh spiritually emotionally just in in good spiritual health so i don't know that's me and you know th and then th that's the biggest thing that irritates me during this time of year so what do you guys think Am I off base? Am I am I am I getting too old and crotchety? Am I turning into Statler and Waldorf up in the Muppet Show up in the booths? I don't know. Uh, leave a comment. What do you think? Um, leave a video comment. Leave a video message. But yeah, that's uh, that's my holiday rant and uh, opinion on society today. I guess so. Yeah. Thanks a lot, uh, Electra Knight, for kind of inspiring me to do that. I. You know, thinking back to your two videos and then watching some things, I thought, you know what? I'm going to put my two cents in on what's irking me this uh, time of year, and I'm going to give myself a little rant out there. So uh, if you haven't seen her channel, definitely check her out. She's got, I think it's, is it two channels? She does one for, she's just started one for video gaming, and then she's got another one with a bunch of, uh, you know, toys and geeky type stuff. Cosplay, she's huge in the cosplay. She's a big fitness uh, nut and uh, does a lot of instruction videos for that. Very cool stuff, and like I said, she's probably the nicest person you would ever meet. So definitely check her out. She's easy on the eyes, Electronite. 
I'll put a link to her channel down in my description box there. And uh, everybody, have a great New Year's. I hope you had a good Hanukkah, a good Christmas, a good Kwanzaa, and I hope uh, you were able to spend it with your friends and your family. And uh, if you don't like the sweater, don't take it back just because you don't like it. If it fits, keep it. They thought it would be nice for you. It's a respect thing, folks. So have a great New Year. Uh, let's hope 2013 is going to be a great one. And look for more videos in the future. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.